So you want to add lens flares to your videos and you don't know how to do it. If that's the case, you are in the right place because today I'm going to teach you how to do that. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can add those amazing effects. So here we are inside of DaVinci Result and we are in the edit page. And I already have here some stock footage that I don't download from Pixabay. And this is a simple uh, library that uh, it has some lamps over here. Let me show you the video. It's this. So let's go to the color page and see how you can add a flare to this image. So let's go to the color page. It's over here. And let's look for the lens flare. You come here to the library here and uh, in the effects and search for lens flare and here it is let's drag it over to our node and immediately you can see here the flare the lens flare so let's move it i want it over here for example and now you have all these options to mess with <laughs> so here in the lens flare you have this one the preset uh, you can adjust all of this. I like to use the default, but you can use the, the, the blank one or this one or this one, the headlight of a car, like this one. So like uh, sci-fi, the old sci-fi, the modern sci-fi and anamorphic also and custom. I like to use the default for me. In this case, it's the one that I want to choose. And here in the select output, as you can see, it's the final final image, but you can select the source mask. Doesn't have anyone, so everything is white. Here, uh, the mag magnified source mask. So as you can see, it's here. And here, flare elements alone. So you, this is the elements only. If you need to adjust this, anything you then you don't see it perfectly you can come here to this option and it's better to see and of course the final image with everything in here and of you have also the composite type you have add i always use add but you can use overlay so it has multiple you have you can do it the way you want okay let's go here so in the next area, it's the position. So as you can see, it's X, uh, the X and Y. So you, you can move it like this or you can move it er, here. So you have this option also. Now, the global corrections over here, you have this one with the global scaling anamorphic. So you can add th that anamorphic look or and the, the scaling bigger or smaller and here the lens center position you don't see it in this case so let's come here and is this a circle here as you can see if i move it look so you can move it from one side to the other and you can see and in the x and in the y so you can uh, adjust it uh, according to the direction of the light of course and let me put here and the defocus the global defocus so like this or like this and the brightness you can increase it or decrease it and the saturation do it do the same so like this is only white and if you increase it it'll be yellow and the colorize here result so as you can see it's a little bit yellow and white but if you increase it here, you can notice that it's going to white only because is this is the color that is uh, that it's uh, choose. So if you come here and, for example, look for a, a blue one, you can notice that over here the the rays, the small rays, become blue if the colorized result is like this. But if you turn it back, it will be. Uh, white again and let me put this over here okay so now we, here we have the aperture so you can adjust the blades of uh, your fake blades of the lens so you can in this case is six blades but you can increase it to nine 
all the way to 18. So you have this kind of star, but I like to give it like this. And you can also change the angle. Look, you can adjust a little bit of the angle of the flare. And now here in the elements, you have you can adjust uh, each element individually. So is, this is the full screen glare. You have this here, the look, so you can adjust this and you can go to the flare spot. So only this part here. So as you can see, it's yellow. You can change it to another color look. So if you notice that it's changing and you can the flare size look so big or little sm small and can adjust all of this look so I highly recommend that you use it and try it uh, experiment yourself see what's better for you for your situation because uh, what I'm showing you probably won't be the best option for you so I highly recommend that you test it and do all this experience yourself and of course if while you are doing this you are learning okay so let's continue and of course you have here also the global blend you can adjust here the blend so you can adjust it like this now it's done but if you play it you can notice that the flare stays in the same place and the since the image is moving so now let's uh, um, track this. So let's come here to the tracker. It's already here, but if you are seeing this, you come here to the tracker. I, I, I believe that you know what is the tracker is, So, but it's here, the tracker, and normally it is in this option. Since this is an effect, you have to come here to where it says FX over here and go here now let's add some points for tracking for doing that you come here to this corner and you can add because you can see you have a plus over here and select it and you can see here a blue plus in the middle so let's put this in a place for tracking i'm going to put it over here to this in the in this camera i'm going to add another one and i'm going to put it here in this lamp and i'm gonna add another one and i'm gonna put it over here so i highly recommend that you put uh, these tracking points in a place where you have a high contrast area from very bright to a very dark place for the track to work better now let me see if everything is okay here it's fine let me adjust this one also and in here it's fine also so now since we are not in the beginning i want to track both sides let me let's test if this works let me just put this a little bit here probably it will be better and now let's track both ways tracking forward and tracking backwards and it's done now it's tracked if i play it let's see you can notice that it's it's not that perfect but okay i i hope you understand how to do it of course you can adjust it better because as you can see this one is not in a very good position so let's let's try to track it again probably it's a little bit better now it's done you can go to the edit page again and see the final result so this is the final result and let's play to see if and of course this is not perfect because the tracking is not that great but i hope you understand so as you could see it's not that difficult to add those lens flares and in my opinion it will elevate your videos to another level and I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that will help a lot this channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed, that will help also this channel to grow, to bring you more videos like this one. And I hope to see you in my next video. Until there, bye!